Hello YouTube. I keep deliberating on whether to make a video or not. So I'm just going to do it. And um, if we're in the last... If we're in the last uh, day... <laughs> no. But, we have just ended the year 5778. We've had... You the first week of atonement, whatever they call it. We've had Yom Kippur. If this asteroid swinging by very close tomorrow, if this was the the like the doom that people have been warning against. So just like with Jonah had to warn Nineveh and then because it warned them and they did repent there was no doom. So it's quite a big if, but it's, it's, it's there. It's, it is an if. <laughs> it's possible. And I keep um, meditating and just to see what's going on in the spirit world. And every time I do that, it's just all good there. There's no, there's no work to be done. All the lower levels are empty. All I just see is a nice glow from higher up and <laughs> there seem to be some some expectation of something big uh my <laughs> my own life I've 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 um I'm coming to the end of this I'm coming to the end of um I have satisfied my curiosity in terms of finding out truth on the soul level. I I truly have. I have no more burning questions. I've had a lot of answers and many of these answers require pondering about, thinking about, but just not intensively, just over a long period of time throughout my life. Observing is I'm I'm just happy to observe now. Like close up, far away, everybody, myself. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of just feeling pretty content with that and uh, yeah so tomorrow or the next day if this asteroid skims earth maybe we get another Russia thing maybe it does hit with, with me I always think if an asteroid is coming that close it's like it's a fifth of the way to the moon this is how close it is um, we have some satellites further out than what how this is going to pass, and I don't know the angle or anything else. But what I think is, if like it's a small object, I mean it's only like twenty to fifty meters. I don't even know if it'd hit the ground if it came in, but surely the Earth's gravity will pull it in. That's just my, you know unscientific logic thinking about how things are in space but anyway whether it does or whether it doesn't um, I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine things feel good in terms of like <coughs> <coughs> you know forest fires have continued hurricanes earthquakes have continued and that may well be just the sort of letting off of steam that the earth needs to do you know sort of after effects of what we've been through and it may not be the end of it I mean you know I think it's expected to have you know a hurricane every now and then and we can't expect from the the, the state that things have been just for it to just go suddenly completely quiet 
I mean, that would be unnerving. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought about, you know, my claims and I thought about saying, well, I'm not, I'm not the Christ, you know, I'm floated up into the air and done anything like that. And, um, you know, I'm quite happy to think that I'm not. I almost think, though, that, you know, if I'm not, no one is. and <laughs> Everyone is. Um, but if I think about the last couple of years, when I've been thinking that I was... I needed to think that I was. I wouldn't have done the things I did. I wouldn't have sat for hours. Uh, taking quite a lot of pain at times. I wouldn't have had the motivation to do that. And if, and again a big if, this time probably a bigger if, if what I've done has had some sort of effect, well then I'm very glad I did it. And if it hasn't, okay, then I tried. The way I feel now is not going to affect it either way. In a sense, you know, if I got confirmation, oh, you saved the world, yeah. Yeah, I'd feel pretty good. But I think probably never going to be like that. We all saved the world. We all did what we needed to do. And it was God's plan anyway. The whole, the whole thing. Uh, I'm, I'm talking at the moment as if, you know, Earth has gone into utopia. But I think I've seen enough of a swing. Enough people have woken up. Enough truth is coming out here, there, everywhere, in every single little subject there is. It's changed. And I feel good about it. That's all. And what do you think? <laughs> As if, you know, there's, there's a few people who clung on to my channel I thank you thank you for sticking with it um, again you know if there hadn't been even just a few people uh, staying by I, I wouldn't have continued with the videos and I think it's good to have it all documented you know I have come up with a lot of stuff and I'm still pretty confident that in however many weeks, months, years, time, um, they will still be correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I might start making some different type of videos, because also I've tried to remain very you know, kind of serious. I didn't want to, I didn't want to entertain, but I do like entertaining. So I might come back a bit, be a bit less serious, if if I feel the urge. I've always liked making videos, ever since the video camera was there, you know, make some videos, might have some fun. And in terms of truth and learning, look, everybody has God. God cares equally about everybody and is working and doing what is the best for everyone. So everyone is guided. You know, you know your stuff. So yeah. And I might shave all this off in in the spring I'm not doing it now It'll keep the warmth for winter 
Yeah, not on the top of my head, does keep my neck warm. <laughs> Surprising, even though they're dreads, that... Yeah, they do... They do, um, help keep me warm. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's good, isn't it? All one family. See you on the other side. Bye.